Hello, it's Michael, Michael Ratcliffe. I'm just going to show you what happens when your aquaponic unit fails. We've got two unit, two test beds in here. We've got NFT and media bed. 24 hours ago, I turned the water off to the whole half of the system. So we're going to see which one third best. So just go inside. I turned this water pipe off yesterday, 24 hours ago. If you notice, in the NFT, the plants have are re looking really ill. We'll do another video in another 24 hours to see how these will spring back. We you see, they're looking really ill. And in here, the ones were they're in the NFT. Apart from having a lot of bugs on the cabbage, they've done fair well, there's no real um, signs of damage and this is because in the bottom of the tank in the media bed the roots go down and there's always a little bit of water in the bottom. So just as a comparison, when the water goes off for 24 hours, media bed versus NFT. Now tomorrow, the next uh, part of this video is when I come back tomorrow and we'll show these spring back to life. We'll do it quite well. But why I'm here now, this is the test for human urine. So in here instead of having fish, I've got a nutrient dose of human urine. And we're just looking for deficiencies in the plants. We've got tomato plants, lettuce, pak chow and cabbage. If you look, there's no major signs of deficiency in the lettuce. There's a bit of tip burn probably because the EC is a little bit high. The tomatoes just here are ripening, as you see. Hey dog, what are you doing? So we're back in the greenhouse 48 hours later. That's 48 hours after I've turned the water back on and as you can see the plants have puffed back up, they're going to survive. Uh, that's the cabbage. Uh, this pak chow isn't going to survive. Uh, the media beds, they're surviving, although we have got a massive problem with butterflies, if you can see. So I'm going to get rid of this out of the system now. So keep watching.